What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The most dedicated zombie fans have been coming up with different theories regarding the potential fourth installment of the franchise. Some say the film will focus on mermaids and their complicated arrival in Seabrook. Others claim that the next film will separate Zed and Addison while focusing on vampires and their arrival in Seabrook. Our favorite theory, however, is the one suggesting that Zed and Addison will have a baby. I'm kind of freaking out, and not in the best way. More like a heart beating out my chest because I'm stressed way. How amazing does that sound? I mean, we've followed the fan favorite couple through everything. From their high school days to both of them getting into college, now we really need to see them as a family. Can you imagine how cute their baby will be? I do have one question though. Will their baby be an alien? A zombie? Half alien, half zombie? What do you guys think? Sadly, Disney is still considering the idea of making it another continuation continuation, but with fans all over the world asking for one, it's just a matter of time until the company greenlights Zombies 4. For now, the third film serves as a conclusion of the series, Addison, Zed, and the other residents of Seabrook going on yet another adventure that turns out to be teachable before all of them learn how to live in peace and harmony. Seabrook was really turned into a place with no discrimination, which is sadly not the case with our real world. Following the premiere of the third film, fans at Disney have been asking for two things only, a continuation of The Descendants and a continuation of Zombies. Directed by Paul and starring Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly, the franchise focused on these two characters ever since the beginning, with Zombies 4 giving fans, um, a proper but not so satisfying conclusion. Why is it not satisfying? Because it leaves us wanting more. And we don't need to pretend, cause we won't ever fit in. The extremely popular franchise is, as you already know, one of Disney Channel's most popular projects. The first installment premiered in 2018, followed by the sequel Zombies 2 in 2020. The latest movie, which premiered on Disney+, Plus, features the arrival of a new group of species that almost broke Zed and Addison. But one of the most important storylines in the third installment is the one in which the female lead finally discovers who she truly is. Back when the creators announced the third film, Film, they called it the third and final installment by Disney, a sentence that marks the end of an era. While the threequel doesn't end on a cliffhanger, it leaves us with many questions that will hopefully be answered in the fourth installment. Let's see what happens in Zombies 3 before we jump into some mind-blowing theories about the fourth installment, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so the third film opens up with Zed and Addison focusing on their plans for a better future. They are still pretty much in love with Zed working hard to be the first zombie to go to Mountain College. If this happens, he will open the door for all of his zombie fellas. Addison, on the other hand, prepares for the big cheer-off when all of a sudden the arrival of a new group of species interrupts their plans. Aliens arrive in Seabrook following the destruction of their home planet. They are now searching for the coordinates of their perfect new home. Viewers discover that the coordinates are hidden in the most precious thing in Seabrook. But how do they know that the coordinates are hidden in Seabrook? Well, thanks to a message left by a scout who crash landed in Seabrook a long time ago, the aliens agreed to help Zed get into college, but ask for him and Addison to help them discover where the coordinates are in return. Remember that scout we mentioned earlier? Turns out the scout was Addison's grandmother, Angie. What does Addison's grandmother have to do with aliens? Well, she was apparently an alien herself, which could only mean one thing. Yeah, Addison is an alien. I really expect her to be a werewolf after watching the second installment of the series, but okay. We love her as an alien as well. Anyways, a couple of decades ago, her mother fell in love with a human, and in order to be accepted in Seabrook, she got into Seabrook High and became a cheerleader. Because of this, the aliens believe the coordinates are hidden in the Seabrook Cup, which is why Addison has to win the cup with her team. According to Zed, you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Sadly, no coordinates are found in the cup, and when Addison reveals herself to be an alien, her mother tells her that her grandmother always called you the most precious thing. This is when we discover that the coordinates to Utopia are actually hidden in Addison's DNA. But in order for the group of aliens to go to Utopia, Addison has to go with them. And this is a particularly difficult moment for her because now she's forced to leave Zed, her family 
her friends, and her life in Seabrook behind. Zed is unable to go because he won't survive the trip, let alone live on Utopia. But no, the franchise won't leave us with such an awful ending. On the day of graduation, Addison explains to her fellow alien friends that Seabrook is actually the perfect place to live in. So instead of going to Utopia, they all come back to Seabrook and turn a new page in their lives. Zombies 3 ends on a good note with cheerleaders, zombies, werewolves, aliens, vampires, and and mermaids living together in harmony. Both Zad and the love of his life are accepted into Mountain College, but we don't know whether they stay together, whether they get married, or whether their relationship lasted. These questions are the reason why we think the end of the franchise was not so satisfying. This brings us to Zombies 4, Addison and Zad have a baby. First things first, everyone from the cast of Zombies 3 is interested in the idea of another film. This is enough for a start because now we should only wait for Disney to greenlight yet another continuation. Mag Donnelly told J14 that mermaids could be featured in the next film. Chandler Kinney told the outlet that the universe of the franchise is so big that it can go as far as the entire galaxy. There's always room for new species, there's always room for new stories, so we are definitely down for all of that. Trevor Chorgeman said that he would love to see more character development in Bucky. This sounds great because with more character development, we could easily see a grown-up version of Addison Zed and the rest of Seabrook, and thus we could also see a wedding between our favorite leads. I think it would be great seeing how the aliens have adapted to feeling welcomed at Seabrook and feeling like Seabrook could be their home," Matt Cornett added. My favorite theory for Zombies 4 is the one suggesting we see Zed and Addison through their college years, while all also finding out more about what the other characters are doing. Seabrook would welcome vampires and mermaids while teaching its residents valuable lessons about discrimination and prejudice. The film could feature a time jump through which we would see Addison and Zed living together with their half-alien, half-zombie babies. Addison! You came back! Ariel Martin would love to return and reprise her role again. She told J14 that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. The way everybody watching is really passionate about zombies, I think we're just as passionate about the storyline and the message, and what it's about and our characters too. So, to come back and do it all over again, it would be a dream. Milo Mannheim believes that the third film leaves the franchise open-ended. We'll see you in the next video.